Hey guys, personal defense here uh, with a Ruger Mark III. Uh, I borrowed this from my friend. He uh, claims it's one of the best pistols that you can buy. And um, I borrowed it to uh, go and shoot it. I didn't take any video of me shooting it, but um, it's a pretty cool little pistol. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you. He bought it new, so this is what you get when you buy it new. It comes in this nice hard case, a uh, plastic case. Um, there's not there's not a lock here like on like the my MP case or anything, so I don't think you can travel with it. But open it up here and uh, let's take a look at what it comes with. So on this side it has you know the the test fire and the casing that was used. And here we got just some literature manual. Um, that's always nice to see right there. But more importantly, let's look down here at what we got, and I'll go over this. Okay, so like I said, my friend brought, uh, bought this pistol new. Sorry, just adjusting the camera. And um, it's the Ruger Mark III standard model. Now, there's a couple different models. Um, this one's the pretty basic one, although I think a lot of them are about the same price. This one is the, the blued. Well, it's a... Uh, 22 caliber, or 22 long rifle caliber. Uh, the barrel is tapered, as you can see here. It's made from alloy steel with a blued finish. The grips are uh, checkered plastic. I'm not too fond of them. They do feel kind of cheap. I mean, that's like the cheapest feeling thing of the whole, the whole gun here. Uh, I guess I should do a uh, safety check. Haha. <laughs> So there's nothing in the chamber there, and then uh, nothing in the magazine. While I got the magazine out, I can tell you the magazine holds 10 rounds. Um, and the barrel has a 116 right hand twist. So what comes in the box is the pistol itself, two 10 round magazines, and two keys. Um, the Mark III has a couple of safety features now added to it. Uh, one of them is an internal lock inside here. Uh, that's new for the Mark III. And that's what these keys are for. And so you can see if you put the, the safety up. I don't know if you can catch that on there. I don't know if it's detailed enough. Okay, see right there? So this is, this is the safety is not on right now. So when you put the safety on, that opens up. And you can now insert the key and lock it to safe. Uh, another safety feature they claim is right here. Said so you can put a padlock or a you know a master lock through here, and that would lock the uh, slide back, so it cannot fire. Uh, another safety feature added this to this model is the um, uh, magazine disconnect. So it will not fire if there is a uh, magazine not inside of it. Trying to think. I think that's it for new safety features on this. Uh, like I said, this is the um, standard model, tapered barrel. It's the barrel length is four and three quarters inches. Although you can buy one that's uh, a six inch barrel. The overall length of this is nine inches. Um, when it's Oh, you know what? The uh, these they call these dog ears. These are a little shortened and more tapered for the Mark III, as opposed to how they were a little bit bigger in the Mark II. Anyway, the overall length is nine inches. It weighs thirty-five ounces. It's pretty heavy. It's a five and three quarter. Or I'm sorry, five point three five inches tall. And it costs anywhere from $350 to $400. Okay, so a couple other new features, or just features in general for the Mark III, are uh, it now has a loaded chamber indicator. And I don't know if you can read that there. It says uh, loaded chamber indicator. But if there were a round in there, it would stick out like that, and you can see that your chamber is loaded. 
Uh, it does feature fixed front and rear sights. And this is one of the most accurate pistols you can get, uh, for a 22 at least. Uh, they, they do mention the manual safety as one of the features, thumb safety. Uh, the magazine disconnect I already talked about. The uh, internal cylindrical bolt. They say it ensures permanent alignment and higher accuracy potential than conventional moving slide designs. Uh, they're talking about this actual bolt in here, which is kind of reminiscent of, of a shotgun. I mean, that's what it kind of reminds me of when I look at it. I don't know if you can see it moving in there. That's pretty much all I got on the uh, Mark III. I'm sorry I didn't go, I didn't film uh, us shooting it. It's not really, I mean, there's no recoil or anything, you know, when you shoot it, it just kind of does this. I do kind of like the trigger, it's nice and wide. It has some grooves in there to hold your finger. Um, but other than that, that was just my quick little overview of the uh, Mark III. Thanks for watching.